Another big story that we're working on tonight, protecting our pedestrians. Arizona ranks as the most dangerous place in the country for pedestrians. And now the city of Phoenix is trying to do something about it. Team 12's Bram Resnick is here with us with the details, Bram. Yeah, the numbers show you take your life into your own hands when you cross a Phoenix street. Now tomorrow, the Phoenix City Council could take its first significant steps to protect pedestrians. But one councilman warns, don't believe it, they're really coming for your car. In one deadly day last month. He didn't have to pay a price to lose his life just to get over to go to the grocery store. Three people were killed crossing Phoenix streets. By one measure, Arizona is the most dangerous place in the country for pedestrians. Phoenix streets fast becoming a death trap. Vehicle collisions with Phoenix pedestrians have jumped 47% since 2013 to 758. That's more than two a day. Those accidents killed an estimated 89 pedestrians last year, up 65% from 2013. That's one dead pedestrian every four days. Mayor Kate Gallego and the Phoenix City Council could take their first steps Tuesday to protect pedestrians. The citywide Vision Zero plan would use technology enforcement and street design to make streets safer. The so-called hawk crossing signals are one of the tools. Responding to the large number of pedestrians killed after dark while crossing major streets far from intersections. The number of hawk signals citywide would be doubled this year. But Phoenix Councilman Sal DeCicio posted this Facebook urgent alert about the street safety plan, warning government is coming for your car. Proponents of this insane scheme, he warns, want to make driving as difficult as possible and slowly force people out of their cars by slowing traffic to a crawl. The Cicio claims Phoenix will follow the lead of Boston, where the Vision Zero plan cut speed limits to 25 miles per hour. And a quick fact check, Phoenix is not Boston. The speed limit in Boston was 30 miles per hour before it was lowered to 25 two years ago. There's nothing on the Phoenix Council agenda tomorrow that calls for lowering speed limits. A yes vote would authorize city staff to produce a Vision Zero plan with more votes down the road before a plan could take effect. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram. Also